What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well too. Now today's video is a cool video because I'm going to show you guys how to mine Ether or Ethereum from your Windows PC. So if you guys are into Ethereum or cryptocurrency, Bitcoin type stuff and you want to learn how to mine Ethereum, you come to the right place. This is going to be a fast, quick video. I'm going to get straight to the point and we're going to mine Ethereum. So let's get started. Before we get started, we're going to need to create a folder and this folder is going to contain all the software to mine Ethereum, right? So you got to make sure that you put this in a, in a safe place. So I'm going to keep it in the desktop just because it's easier to keep in the desktop because this is a tutorial and you can name yours whatever you want. Ethereum, Ethereum uh, miner or Ether. I usually call mine Ether, but because of this video, I'm just going to rename it now. I'm just going to call it uh, test just because I have a folder called Ethereum and Ether. So this is our folder. This is the folder that we're gonna store all our files in this video. So I call mine test. You could call yours whatever you want, Ethereum, Ether. Now uh, we're gonna open up our browser. Let me maximize this. The first thing we need to do is create a Ethereum wallet. To do that, navigate to this URL, this URL, and all the URLs will be in the description. So. The URL is www.myetherwallet.com. Once you get there, you got to type in a password. So this is going to be your wallet. You got to make sure you remember your password, by the way. If you forget your password, you won't be able to access your wallet and you'll never be able to access your Ethereum that's in that wallet. So remember your password, write it down. You're going to need to know this. So I'm going to type in my password. This one I'm creating, by the way, is just a test one. I already have one created. So whatever I show you in this video is just for test purposes and it's not my actual account. But once you uh, created that password, make, try to make that password as many characters as you can, the uppercase, lowercase symbols, but you gotta make sure you remember it and you won't lose the password. So the next thing we're gonna need to do is download a key store file. This file is the second step or the first step in accessing your wallet. You're gonna need this file and your password. So without this file, you won't be able to access your wallet. So first thing you need to do is download that file. Click on this download keystone file thing here. It's gonna download. Once it's finished downloading, navigate to wherever it downloaded, right? So it's here. So I'm not, what I'm gonna do now is copy this. This is the file we just downloaded. I'm gonna copy it, right? And I'm gonna paste it in the folder that we just created. I call my test, you could call yours, whatever you want. So I pasted it there. All right. Now the next step is once you finish doing that, click on I understood or I understand, continue. Now uh, this is gonna be your private key. So you wanna save this private key, copy this, copy it in a file, make sure you make uh, duplicates. Uh, save it on flash drives, save it, save it on your hard drive, and uh, make sure you remember it. You can also print it, by the way. So if you click on print paper wallet here, if you have, if, or if you want to, if you have a printer, you can print this, print multiple copies of this. It has all your information, it has the barcodes, it has your your address, it has your private key. Your your address and private key are completely different, by the way. Your address, your your address is where people will be able to send you uh, uh, Ethereum, and your private key is completely different. So. Save this. You could you could copy you could, if you want. You can uh, hold down the Windows key and press print screen, and it'll copy the screen and save it in your pictures folder. By the way, so or a folder called screenshots. I'm gonna close it now. But make sure you save it. Now, after you finish saving it, click on save your address here. Now, the next thing you want to do is click on key store slash json file. Right. Click on that. Make sure it's checked. Then click on this where it says uh, select your wallet file. Click on it and navigate to wherever you downloaded that file like uh, two minutes ago. Wherever that file we just downloaded, we downloaded it in that folder. I called mine test, right? Navigate to wherever you downloaded yours. Click on it, then open it. Now we're going to type in our password. So whatever password we just created. That's why it's really important to uh, make sure you remember your password. So every time we log into our wallet, we're gonna need to do this step. By the way, so that's why that file and that that's why that file and that pa this password is really important. So click on unlock. Now this is our wallet right here. This is our account address, right? This is the address we're gonna be 
copying and pasting to our miner. This is our Ethereum address right here. So this, this has everything in this page right here. It shows you how many uh, Ethereum you have right now. And it has everything you need, your address, your your uh, barcode address, all the stuff you'd possibly need. So if you, if you do manage to close this while we're going through this video, it's pretty simple. And I'll show you how to get back to this after we finish. So now the next step is to download the mining software and it's called Claymore. So I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description as well. Uh, I, I don't wanna pronounce it. It's got a lot of characters, but again, the link is in the description. We wanna go to not the Linux, the one all the way at the end that's not Linux. So, so like second to last one, make sure it's not Linux. We want to right click it, then uh, under download, select standard download. Let that download. Now we wanna to navigate to wherever we download a folder, click on it, then uh, we wanna extract it to our folder. We wanna extract it to the folder we just created, so click on it, extract to, find the folder we just created, mine is in the desktop, then it's called, mine is in the desktop, I named it test. If we go back to the folder we just created, we have originally that first file we downloaded, right? The key, key file. Now we just extracted this Claymore dual Ethereum folder here in the same folder that we created earlier. So now we can move on to the next step. Now the next step is to join a pool. We're gonna to navigate to nanopool.org, right? This is gonna be in the description. Right now where it says Ethereum, we wanna click on quick start for Ethereum, not Ethereum Classic, just regular Ethereum. So click on click start, right? Now we wanna click on this here, right? Where it says generate your config file, click on it. If this doesn't pop up, right? If you don't see this here, Claymore dual config generator, Try another browser, try like Firefox or try Windows Explorer or whatever. If, sometimes they're weird. Uh, one will open in one and not in the other. Then later on, one will open the other and not the first one you originally opened it with. So don't be worried if it doesn't open, try another web browser. So now here, we're gonna select our operating system, which is Windows. Now we wanna select our GPU vendor. If you have a NVIDIA card, click on NVIDIA. I have an NVIDIA card because I have a 1080 Ti, so I'm gonna click on NVIDIA. If you have an AMD card, you're gonna check AMD. This is really important. So I'm gonna check NVIDIA because I have an NVIDIA card. Now the worker name, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna keep it the same, rig one. But you can name it whatever you want, N name your worker doesn't matter type in a valid email because it's very important if they have to contact you they can contact you with your email make sure you put a valid not a fake email so I'm just gonna type in any email right now my name at aol.com because I know this is just for test purposes and I'm not gonna give my real email that I use now under main server select the one that uh, you live near I live near the East Coast of the United States so I'm gonna click on US East Coast if you live in Europe click on Europe if you live in Asia, click on Asia. Now where it says first algorithm address, we're gonna go back to our Ethereum address here, right? And we're gonna copy the address here. This is our wallet, by the way. So it's under my uh, Ether wallet. Remember, we made this expand. This is our wallet. We're gonna copy this. Then we're gonna paste it on to where it says first algorithm address. So paste it there. So this is, make sure you paste it. So now the second thing we're gonna need to do is uh, under second algorithm, we gotta make sure we hit none. Now we're ready to generate. So click on generate. All right guys, so now we're going to extract this to our same folder. Uh, click on extract here, find a folder we're working with. Mine says test again. But instead of extracting in that folder, we're gonna extract it in the folder that's in that folder called Claymore's Dual Ethereum, right? Make sure you click on Claymore's dual Ethereum, then click on OK, then click on, if it asks you to replace existing file, click on yes to all, because we're replacing the file that was there previously. So click on yes to all. Make sure you click yes. If you click no, then your settings are not gonna be saved and your miner is not gonna work. So we can close this now. All right guys, so now we're pretty much finished. If we did everything correctly, we're ready to mine. So open up your folder, double click the Claymore's dual Ethereum folder, right? At the bottom, at the bottom, all we have to do now is double click start.bat, right? Once we double click it, the miner should start. There you go, now we're mining Ethereum, that's all it is. So every time we wanna mine Ethereum, all we have to do is double click that file. Now, and if it asks you to allow, click on allow. All 
right, so what I want to say is when I first did this, I, I ran into a problem. This didn't work right away. It gave me an error message about a opencl.dl file being missing. If you guys have that same problem if, or if you're running into that same problem, I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. It's that I'm going to close the, the miner and we'll reopen it later. So if you're having that problem where it won't load the mining software because there's a missing opencl.dl, this is the file here, right? I'm going to leave a link to where you can download this file. And uh, where you want to put it is you want to go to, uh, let me just copy it, right? I'll copy. You want to open up your, your computer or my computer or drive C, whatever. Then go to Windows. I'm going to scroll down to System32. In the System32 folder, double click it. And I'm going to scroll all the way down. Make sure you don't paste it in any one of these folders. Scroll all the way down. In between, just right click. Click on Paste. I have mine there, so I'm not going to replace it. But make sure you paste it there. If you paste it in the right place and you go back and you double click, go back in the Claymore folder, you double click that start.bat file all the way in the bottom, it shouldn't give you that error message anymore and your mining software should start ru running. All right, so right here, all these shares accepted. If it's green and it says uh, shares accepted, that means your mining software is actually working and you're mining Ethereum. So. This is pretty cool. Right, guys, my next video is going to be pretty cool because I'm going to let my computer run for the next 24 hours mining Ethereum. If you guys are wondering what uh, graphics card I'm using, it's the 1080 Ti. It's pretty powerful. I love that graphics card. It was expensive, but I, I love it. So basically, we're going to see how much Ethereum we can mine with a 1080 Ti, uh, running it for 24 hours. In the next video, I'll show you guys the results. And that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossportTech.com, and thank you guys for watching.